then we've got issues of what you would call natural love. Remember we said yesterday the divine love path incorporates natural love. So we've got issues of, all right, how am I practicing love in my life? Is it loving for me to yell at my children, no matter what they've done? What do you feel? See, most of us feel, when we feel about it, we feel, no, no, that's not loving. But when, when we're in the situation, you know, where your child is so frustrating and annoying and just keeps badgering you, you know, in the situation, it's totally different, isn't it? You get in the situation and before you know it, you're smacking a child and, you know, you just broke one of your own personal rules, you know, of, uh, of, of violence towards another person. <laughs> So on the divine love path, we would have to incorporate these principles of natural love in our life. And that in itself is going to be quite challenging. Can you see? Quite challenging to do that. But what is a loving thing to do? Now, natural love also has this aspect of natural love towards your environment. So I would start have to, having to look at th all sorts of issues inside of myself with regard to the environment. With regard to the environment, I'd have to say, say to myself, um, how do I feel about the animals? How do I feel about the birds? How do I feel about the fish? And I say, oh, I just love the animals. You know my dog? I just love my dog and my cat. I just love my cat. <coughs> okay, well then, why is there meat sitting on your table if you love animals so much? There's a whole different area there to work your way through with regard to natural love on the divine love path. Because if you loved creatures so much, do you think you'd kill them to put them on your table? And and if you really took personal responsibility, which is the next thing I'd like to raise on the path, if you really took personal responsibility, you would actually have to kill that animal. So if any of you try doing that, just slitting the throat, skinning it, gutting it, but for most of us we'd be totally, our stomach would be churning if we, for most of us. And to be frank, I don't know if you've ever gone along to an abattoir's, but what I, I've been to a number, and the men in there are so detuned because I've had to detune themselves from the whole process. <laughs> And they are so detuned from anything to do with flesh and, and pain and a lot of other things too. So on the divine love path, we need now to start taking personal responsibility for the actions that we get other people to do for us because we don't want to do it for ourselves. So I need to start taking personal responsibility for the fact that I want this meat on my plate. Can you see? The personal responsibility issue there. I need to take personal responsibility for the fact that I want a great big house and two cars in the garage and, and all of these other things which actually have a big impact on the environment. I need to start taking some personal responsibility. I need to even take personal responsibility for the things I eat. The things that I eat that are disharmonious with love. Because there are things you can eat that are disharmonious with love, by the way. Animals, of course, is one of them. You know, because you've got to kill it to eat it. And uh, it's a living creature. And you'll start feeling your emotions about all that. Remember, the emotions are going to be incorporated into all of this. Can you see now we're starting to... There's all these different ways. You, 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 can, you can sort of incorporate... Many of these different things are in different forms of religion or the New Age stuff and all those kind of things. Many of them are in that. But now we're starting to bring them all together and incorporate them into our life in a true way.